Right now, those high interest rates set by the Fed might be costing you more to borrow, but they are paying big returns for savers who have their money in high yield accounts. But with the Fed planning to bring rates back down this year, Verify viewer Jay asked if that means rates on high yield saving accounts will come down too. 10 tip of anchor Josh Sador, which verifies how to get the most out of your money. When the Fed changes interest rates, it directly impacts your finances. But it's not always all bad, according to our sources, including Danielle Munasi, the Associate Vice President of Wealth Planning at Raymond James Financial. Returns are the highest that they've been in a very long time. High yield savings accounts right now are paying about between 4.5 and 5.5 percent, whereas your average checking account is paying 0.07 percent. Put it this way, having even $1,000 right now in a high yield savings account could earn you as much as $53 in interest after one year. Interest earned on that same amount in a traditional savings or checking account after a year, about four bucks. But as the Fed signals it could begin lowering the nation's benchmark interest rate this year, Munasi says yes, that will slowly mean smaller returns for high yield savers. That yield that you're getting is going to be a variable yield, meaning when interest rates go up, the yield will go up. And when interest rates come down, the yield on that high yield savings account will come down as well. All right. So, Josh, what are the other options out there? So you do have a few alternatives here where you can get that higher reward, right, but still have the lower risk with these returns. So U.S. Treasury bonds, that's one, which are backed by the government. There's also certificates of deposit, CDs, municipal bonds. Those are all options that Munasi says you can lock in these higher rates that we have right now and keep those even if the Fed does start to lower the benchmark rate. The downside being, yeah. though, that higher rate is locked in because your money is also locked in for a longer period of time, so you don't have as much flexibility as you would with a high-yield savings account. Yeah, and high-yield savings accounts, we should mention, they're considered secure? Well, they FDIC insured, yeah. just like a traditional uh, you know, brick-and-mortar savings account would be. But unlike those traditional accounts, these high-yield savings are primarily offered by online banks. Think American Express, Barclays. They have lower overhead costs because they don't have brick-and-mortar, so typically they can offer those higher rates than in return. And those rates that are going to be higher even if and when, you know, the Fed does bring down rates compared to those traditional accounts. All right, Josh, thank you. And if you see something that you would like our Verify team to look into, you can email your questions to us, verify at 10tapabay.com. You can also text us, 727-577-8522.